Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Rahm today based around his Juggernaut, his F, although I'm not 100% locking myself into that just in case we go against a team with like a ton of CC where we'd get massively countered by going for this, so I'm leaving myself a little bit open to switch it up just in case we need to, but as long as we don't go up against anything too crazy, we should be fine to stick to this. If you want to see my other Rahm setups, I've covered these before, they are very similar to what we're going for today, just without the extra distance on the F and instead either damage reduction or healing whenever we gather souls and stuff, but I'm going for today is pretty straightforward and relatively standard. A ton of extra distance on the air for 40% reset on the air with the Q, 5 seconds, and then also a heal whenever we hit somebody in our air. And then these two are kind of fillers, but also just a little bit of sustain for the talent. Obviously, we're grabbing Enforcer. It's a pretty key part to the setup, and that's pretty much everything I think I need to go through. All right, well, for game one, we've got Onslaught Marauder's Port. I've had a weird visual bug happen here, which just put me kind of in like a weird champion menu sort of screen instead of the normal one you get. But we've got an Eevee, we've got a Tyrant Fury, and a Tiberius. Then for their side, we're up against a Grover, a Vivian, and Andrew, an Eevee, and a barracks. We get countered really, really hard by the Grover, kind of by the Eevee because of her ultimate. Vivian, not so much. Andro, not really at all, neither the barrack, but the Grover counter is a really, really hard one, but I'm going to stick with the setup even though it's probably not the best choice here. <laughs> we'll of course go ahead and grab Enforcer and then the build, and I guess we'll start off with some Kronos for the Tarns. We've got Wormhole, we've got Proto Instincts Exterminate. Tyra hasn't grabbed anything just yet. I'm actually pretty sure she's a bot, which sucks. Then on their side, God's there, Wormhole, Deep Broods, Suspect Everybody, and Dark Electronics. So Grover is going to screw me over. I'm going to go ahead and pop the F when he can't see me, get a tap or two, try and do a bit of a spin. I think Barrack is down here somewhere. I guess I'm going all the way around. I'm getting hit by the Grover. There's the F. He's probably going to root me. Yep, there we go. This is kind of the main downside to playing Ram like this is that you will get bodied by any sort of CC that's a cripple or a silence or anything like that, which is why Ram has a bit of a hard time against a lot of setups. But then again, it is a 4v5 because our Tyra isn't here. We'll do a bit of a spin, hit her again, try and do another little bit of a lap. I wish I could reduce the knock up on my F because sometimes it really messes me up trying to hit multiple people. That's a stun from the Furia. Nice. She somehow looked like she was throwing two beams there. There's the Q. We'll pop the F just to negate the counter. Get around this little corner here, do a bit of a spin, hit the Vivian, pop a right. I think I don't have any of my abilities, so I might be screwed. Here we go, there she is gone. There's the Q. The Grover's going to hit me with the root, but that means it's down, so we can go ahead and pop our F and push up a little bit. It's got a really short cooldown. It's like freaking a couple seconds, so it is a really, really hard counter twist. There's a knock up for the Barrack. He's just kind of standing here playing a bit weird. I'm going to go ahead and pop the ult. That didn't hit anybody because I freaking aimed it too far right. Evie's just throwing the ultimate there for some reason. That's a really confusing play. There's my F. There's a tap for the Grover, tap for the Evie, and I'm just going to go ahead and leave because my entire team is other than the Fury, who's up here. Some shots into the Vivian's feet. There's a Q for the quantum reduction on the F. Are you sure I'm dead here? That Vivian is just ridiculous. She's got so much goddamn life steal with freaking 20% on the build and also 20% from life rip. Did a bit of a spin, landed on top of the Grover. There is a Q. He's definitely going to root me here. I guess we can go ahead and pop our ultimate. Don't think that did anything. We did actually clip him. Are we going to be able to finish him off? Nice. Actually kind of worked. There's the F hit for... Vivian damage reduction coming through, clutch, a bit of a spin and go around again, how the hell did I end up back here, this is probably not a good spot for me to be, being from the Fury Land on top of the Eevee, there's the stun, what a play, there is the F, currently we're getting kind of bodied, I feel like even if our Tyra was here we'd still be getting kind of screwed, there Grover went for the ult, there's a bunch of taps with the F, ain't going to really do much though because they're under the barrack shield, stun from the Fury coming through, clutch again, she's actually not doing too bad with exterminate, my dead here, she's got so much life up I can't even get rid of her when she's on like 2 health, I'm just going to pop the F and leave, hello Eevee, there's some more shots for you, you're actually probably gone here unless you get a heal from somewhere, I don't think Grover's going to get to you though, so thank you. Fury for the heal. We'll pop the F go around the top. There's a tap for the Grover, tap for the Andrew, and also the Barrack. There's a right click. I feel like I'm going to have a pretty good damage stat here, but we are just screwed. There is the ultimate. There's a double tap. Nice. We got rid of the Andrew. I don't think I can get rid of the Vivian because of her healing, but we'll pop the F and tap her. There's the double. A bit of a spin. Nearly freaking set myself off the map, but we're fine. There's a right click beam from Fury coming through, nearly hitting somebody, although I think it actually did clip the Eevee there, who is gone. Pop an F. Just run forward a bit. There's a tap. There's another one. There's one more. There's the F. I think I might still be dead. I'm going to try and do some sort of like weird lap. There we go. That worked. Got the movement on point. We'll go ahead and finish off our Kronos, get some more Haven, but this game's over. It's freaking 120 to 380, and there we go. There is the defeat. They deserve the win. It was a 4v5. We were pretty much screwed from the start, but I put up a good effort and actually didn't do too bad there. Eevee did alright. Our Tyra, not so much. Our Tiberius also struggled there quite a bit. Our Fury did fine. We did pretty good. Their Grover did a really good job. Their Vivian did as well. So did their Android, though, a little bit less so. Same thing with the Eevee, and their Barrack did a really good job. We'll go ahead and requeue for another one. Games like that kind of suck, especially when it's starting off a video, but hopefully game two is a little bit better. Although, to be honest with you, that's what I call a very average situation for playing Ram based around his F, not necessarily the 4v5, but more their sort of team comp. We got countered only by the Grover, which definitely isn't, you know, worst case scenario, but it also definitely isn't perfect. It's pretty much in the middle, which is why I'd say it's average. Anyway, for game two, we've got Siege Ice Mines. We've got a four, a Drogas is in, and a Pip. Shoutouts to Varanite. If he watches my stuff, he'll know if I'm recording a video. I usually don't mention anything in the chat, so you get a bit of a surprise when you see yourself on the channel, I guess. For this, I'd represent the BK, the end of Corvus, the Genos, and a Barrack. So the only person there who counters us is the Genos, which isn't too bad. Again, seems like pretty much the same thing as what we
Root, Fortify, Luminary, Spreading Influence, Royal Subjects, and Eminence. We're going to go ahead and pop the F and just run here around the side. He's going to go ahead and grip me. That's the play that's going to happen over and over again. BK is just stacking mad bombs. No heals from the Pip, and obviously I'm in the middle of the team, so of course I am a goner. For some reason, I thought Genos was somewhere else, not exactly where I was running into, which is why I tried to make that play, but it didn't really work out. Definitely dead, but at least I managed to trigger the overtime. For some reason, the entire team is just pulling back. Pop the F, I guess we can push up a little bit, maybe get rid of somebody here. There's a couple little taps. There's a double one on the BK. I'm going to go ahead and pop the ult, get a four-man stun. I don't know why the team is never with me. I guess I need to push up a little bit less. Seems like nobody's even really bothered playing the objective. Corvus and Genos just went ahead and combolted me, so of course I am a goner. But yeah, it seems like the entire team just wants to play defensively. Obviously, I'm on ROM, so playing defensively doesn't work all that well. I need to, you know, push up and be aggressive and stuff, but the team isn't really bothered about playing the point. Just kind of contesting from up here. These in is pushing up. That back went for the ult, but we can just stay here out of the range. There's some more little shots on him. Thank you, Pip, for the heals. I'm actually not in too bad of a spot. I've been holding it for days. He's probably going to grip me any second. There is a Q. There's the F, which should get me out of that. Yeah, I guess that's an interesting way to use it. There's a double tap. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of a lap tap the bike again. Pop a right click. Zin is dead. I'm definitely gone here as well. I'm going to try and get the Q, but I think I'm still gone. Pip went in, went ahead and popped the ultimate, but they're going to push it as chickens. There is the 0-2 so far. This is a bit of a weird one. We've got two flankers, Vora and Zim, but nobody's ever really going after the Corvus or the General, so they're pretty much just getting all of these team fights for free because we're playing defensively. No one's really pushing up. That is Drogos going for the ultimate. So is their Barak. Okay, we'll go ahead and pop the F, but yeah, the way we're playing right now plays into their hand way more than it does ours. It doesn't really help us at all, but we did get rid of a couple of them there. Corvus went for the ult, and they received the objective lost. We didn't even really get on there to treat the overtime or anything. My Q didn't seemingly heal me there. That is a bug that I've had before. Bunch of hits with the F. Generals went for the ultimate. Drogos went for the right click there. I could go ahead and pop mine. Yeah, sure, that's going to give me, I guess, just a single stun because Barak was behind me and everybody else got behind cover as if it would have made a difference anyway. I guess I can actually contest it from here, something I've never done before. The Generals is just going to go ahead and run away. I'm not going to move from here because this is a really good spot for me to try and hold it. Hello, Leon, and also Bomb King. There's a tap for you. We'll do a bit of a spin indoors. There's another tap. There's one for the Corvus. And there we go. There is the defeat. I tried to word it once already during that match, but I just don't really understand what the team's tactic was. They had a perfect team comp for kind of the playstyle they were going for. Meanwhile, we were kind of playing defensively, but with a team comp of Zin, Vora, Drogos, and a Pippin of Ram, which just really doesn't work. Our team comp overall is not very good. It's pretty janky, but for some reason, the entire team was just kind of leaning into their playstyle instead of trying to, you know, combat it in any way. I don't think I worded that very well, but hopefully you get what I'm saying. Shout outs to Stevie Wonder Aim and also Asnar Licharo. I have no idea how to say his names and also Neo Mance. That was a bunch of people on their side there. Shout out to a lot of them. As for the stats, our Pip didn't do too bad. Our Zin struggled quite a bit there. So did our Vora. Our Drogos did pretty good. We also struggled quite a bit for their side. Their Beaker did pretty good. Their The Unshredded. Their Corvus also did pretty good. So did their Genos. So did the Barrack there. They just deserved the win. You can really easily see why. We'll go ahead and jump into, I guess, another Onslaught to finish it off or a TDM. We've done Onslaught and Siege. We might as well finish it off with another one. This video has been a bit of a mess. At the same time, I feel like I have actually represented Rom relatively well, especially with the F play style and the way that we're trying to play him. It does get countered really, really hard by characters like Genos and, you know, Grev, which stop you from being able to kind of run around freely. I think I tried to kind of explain it in the intro, but the situation where you do want to go for the F setup is when you're not up against, you know, CC. If you're up against people who are going to grab you or cripple you or silence you or whatever, you're better off going for either this one or the damage reduction one where you can kind of play more like a normal tank and the team can kind of go with it a little bit more. But going for this in the situation where you're going to get countered, and even if it is, you know, not massively, if it's just one Genos or one Grover, it can end up feeling really, really tough to actually get any benefit out of it. So it really isn't a setup you should go for all the time, but occasionally it will be a really, really good choice and will work out better than the other two. It just depends. All right, anyway, for game three, we've got TDM Dragon Arena, we've got a Tyra, a Victor, a Vivian, and a Leon, so no healer, but that should be fine because on their side, we're up against a Ying, a Strix, a Tyra, a Victor, and a Zin. So the only person there who can counter us is the Tyra with the fire, but other than that, we should be fine. And Tyra's counter isn't that bad anyway, so this is the best situation we've had so far. We'll go ahead and grab Enforcer and then the setup for the Tarns. We've got Cardio, Most Kill Suspect, Everybody, Eminence, Cardio, Guillotine, Life Exchange, Nocturnal, and Burn Monster. So we are going to get countered by the Tyra, but like I said, that isn't the worst counter ever. We're going to go ahead and tap the Zin. There is the Q. I think I might be dead. The Q even healed me there. I talked about it before in a different run video, but I don't know if it's the indicator that's broken or if it actually doesn't give you the 1000 heal that it's meant to because it's really, really annoying. We'll do a bit of a spin, tap the Zin, run over here near the Strix, but I'm not going to try and chase him. I'm just going to go back towards the middle. Hello, I guess you went on the booster pad, so you weren't even there. Pop the F, I think I might still be dead. Oh, never mind, we're fine. There's a tap, did a bit of a spin. There goes the Zin, tap the Victor as well. He's running away in the air. There's the double. Nice. Pop the F, just ran all the way in. There's the Q. I do have the Ultima, but I don't think it's a really good idea to go for it. They're all really, really grouped. There's the F again. Hit for the Victor. Do a bit of a spin. There's a double tap. The Q, gonna go ahead and pop the ultimate. That actually hit the Zim, which I guess didn't CC him because he went for his ultimate. All right, I'm dead, but I guess we would have died there anyway if I got hit by the Zin. Pop the F, I think we should be fine. There's a hit for the Zin. A hit on the Ying as well. Just gonna go ahead and leave. We've nearly got enough to finish off our Kronos.
I'm at those tricks, I guess I'm right in front of you. I'm definitely dead. There's like freaking three people looking at me here. I'm definitely okay, gone and we'll finish off our chronos. It's Tyra going for the ultimate. Victor's just getting absolutely pounded. Okay, we'll go ahead and pop the F. She melted my health pretty damn quick. There's a tap for her. Gonna do a bit of a spin. That is her fire catching me. There is a Q, which did heal me, but the indicator didn't show it healing me, so I guess it's the indicator that's broken. There's a right click. There goes the Tyra. We saved our Victor. I'm gonna go ahead and yoink this. That's fine. She got rid of the Ying. There's a tap for the Strix. Team should be able to finish him off. I'm just gonna go all the way around here onto the Tyra. She's hitting me with the burn monster. I think that means I'm screwed, right? Just because that burns through my health like it's nothing. There is an F at the last second. There's a tap for it. Can we hit her again? Yes, we can. We actually won that fight. Pop the F. Okay, cool. There's a tap for the Tyra. Tap for the Strix. Is that gonna send him off the map? Have we actually just got a kill like that? No, I'm pretty sure he's still on or else we would have got it by now. That is he going for the ultimate. I have no quarter right, so I deal potato damage. Victor is just staring at a wall very, very menacingly. Hello, Strix. I guess you're just standing still as well. Why is that the second person I've just killed who was just like doing nothing? Victor is back now, at least, but there is a double. I don't know how we're 10 kills behind here. I honestly don't know how we're losing this. There's a hit for the Zin. We need to send him off the map. I do have the ultimate up. He's going to go ahead and ult me. That might actually kick me off. Nope, never mind. We're still on. There's the F. We'll go ahead and hit the Zin. The Strix has just stood here. I went ahead and got rid of him so we can maybe recover this. There's an F. He's going into the billow. And there we go. There is the defeat. I don't feel like I can take too much blame for that because I actually did pretty well there. I don't think I got more than a couple deaths and we overall did pretty damn good damage. 10, 365k. I'm more than happy with that. I showed the setup off quite well there in that one. We didn't do terribly in the first two games, but we just didn't have great situations for it. Whereas in that one, we actually had a decent amount of space to just run around for free and we did actually did pretty well with it for the stats of everyone else. The Vivian struggled a ton, so did the Tyra. The Theon struggled a little bit, but didn't do too bad. And then the Victor actually did, I guess, pretty good, but you can see why we lost that one. For their side, their Strix did pretty good. Their Zin did alright. Victor did struggle quite a bit there. Their Tyra did a really good job, and so did their Ying. You know, they can't all be winners, but I feel like I showed it off pretty realistically. This isn't going to work well in every situation ever, but you will have matches like what we had there in game three where you can run around for free, but most of the time you're going to get matches like game one or two where you're better off going for something else if you've already gone ahead and locked in your ROM. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Maybe I'll revisit this and hope that I get three matches in a row that are all really, really good situations for it so I can show you kind of an ideal setup for it. Let me know if you want to see me do an updated video on my other setups for ROM as well because I feel like it's been a while since I've covered those, but thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon and as always, stay frost there.